Welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is... Warrior 2. Warrior 2. Warrior. I don't know. Warrior 2. <laughs> Warrior. I looked at you. I was I like, fill in the blank. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. We're good. And I went blank. <laughs> <laughs> all right. With me today, Francis, Michaela, roll the intro. <laughs> So hello everybody, welcome Atma Yoga to Atma Yoga. My name is Jay McMahon um, and this is yoga for anyone, even you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you right now, lying in bed with your iPad on your belly, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm talking to you, you can do yoga. You just got to get up and do it. Today's tutorial is again Warrior 2 and my partners are Francis and Michaela. And they will be doing the demoing for me as I go. So, Warrior 2 is what I call the middle child. There's a Warrior 1, there's a Warrior 3. This guy's right in the middle. I think it's a nice one to kind of start with, something that has a lot of components to it. You don't need to know about the other two besides what I just said. That will come as we do these tutorials or in your classes or your home practices. Uh, Warrior 2 is a posture that you can really tweak to fit your body better and, and really depends on your hip flexibility and your experience with yoga. Um, and so there's little tweaks. It might not look like there's much to it, but inside while you're doing it, there's a lot. So, um, here at Atma Yoga, this channel, uh, I don't follow a specific discipline of yoga, as it were. I, you know, I've tried almost all of, the, all of them. Like, Ashtanga and Hatha and Vinyasa and all those types of things. But I, basically what I do is I take components of everything that I love and bring it back to sort of my foundation of yoga. And the stuff that I love is, uh, is, is strength, is building strength, primal movements like animal movements and calisthenics. And this is how I create the classes. So I think that for my classes, uh, we still need a lot of the fundamentals for yoga because that again is my foundation to, to what I teach. So in a yoga class, we spend the time at the beginning of class to do uh, some breathing usually. And that's really to center ourselves and to prepare ourselves for the class to come. We can do yoga right away. We can walk in late or just hop into a class, but sometimes we deal with a lot of stress and our minds are not necessarily <clears throat> focused on what we're going to do. I feel it's really important to just take a moment to connect with the body so that we won't have injuries. So we're just going to take a couple of breaths here. All of us, wherever you're seated, at home, find somewhere where you're comfortable, even if it's sitting in a chair. And just place your hands on your thighs. Good, and just close your eyes real gentle. Now I'd like you to take a big inhale to a five count. So I'm gonna count it out. So exhale all the air out, and now let's inhale to five, four, three, two, one. Now hold here for five, four, three, two, one. And exhale to five, four, three, Natural breath, return to natural rhythm. At home, you can do this three or four times, maybe once is good, but it's always important just to take a hot minute to just gather yourself before we do this stuff. So that's tip one, breath. Use it to your advantage. When we run out of breath, we can't hold postures, we just we completely gas out. So timing that breath is super important. So Fritz is gonna come into Warrior Two from Down Dog. So watch the Down Dog tutorial to see what Francis is doing. <clears throat> uh, Michaela demoed that one, but see what how Francis comes through into Warrior 2. So we're gonna come down into Warrior, we're gonna come into Warrior 2 from Down Dog. So make sure you watch the tutorial of Michaela demoing it, and Francis is here helping us out. Uh, Francis is gonna come in from Down Dog, so watch and we'll talk about the finer points as this happens, okay? So let's make this happen. So Francis, let's come into Warrior 2. So from Down Dog, Toes tuck, hips lift up and back. 
The next time she inhales, I want you to lift the left leg. And as you exhale, push forward on this foot and step the left foot between the hands. Good. Take a moment here. Always just stay calm. There's no rush to get into this pose. Right. So now I want her to lift her right hand up, pivot the back heel down, and come into warrior two. So the key points here of a, of a warrior two is we're going to start with the feet. The feet, the foundation of almost every yoga pose for standing is finding the balance in the front foot. And there's four points to that foot, uh, that foot. And that's the big toe knuckle, the pinky toe, and then there's two parts in the heel. So Francis has to push down to make sure that there's balance in there. And you might have wobbling in the ankle. That's okay. The muscles are working. And the knee should stack over the ankle. So if the knee is bowing in, so Francis, bring your finger in and point it to the outside of the knee. Good. Now push your knee into there. So she's pushing it. And let's see if Michaela can do that. Lift that left arm. So Michaela, put uh, your hand here. Good. Now push into the hand. Good. So you feel, when she pushes into her hand, the outer hip activates. And that's what we're trying to do. Okay. Now bring the finger to the inside of the thigh and push the knee in. And you'll feel that outer hip activate. We want that place right in the center. Okay. So lift the arm up. Perfect. The shoulders are above the hips. So Francis' shoulders are right here. Can you lean forward to show us what it's like if you lean forward? Many people in class will be leaning forward like they're lunging to give the yoga teacher a high five or something like that. We want to stay as stacked as we can. So bring the shoulders back. Perfect. The tailbone lengthens to the back of the mat. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you here on Michaela. Her belly is going to pull in. And the tailbone will then round down towards the floor. It won't come fully down because that's just not the way the spine is. But we want to activate and pull the belly in. Now breathe. Good. Watch this back arm. Make sure it's nice and high. Shoulders will work. Now the heart is open. Focus your gaze over that front middle finger and smile. These guys don't want to smile. We've been holding. We've been holding. Let's come back in the down dog. We'll step back, take a little break. Take an inhale here. And let's step that left foot through again. So we're going to keep demoing on the left side just for today. Good. Lucky. Lucky us. So <clears throat> the back leg is also working here. If you can believe it, it doesn't seem like it's doing much besides providing a little bit of balance. But what Frances is doing, she's probably pressing on the outer edge of her foot here, which then uh, will trigger her to lift the kneecap up. And there's a muscle just on the inside of the knee in the top part called the vastus medialis right here, like the teardrop. We want to lift the knee up like we're flexing our quad. Don't hit me. <laughs> she hits me. Just kidding. Good. So the kneecap lifts, and um, yeah, and then she leans forward. So and then she's going to pull the feet together. Just a light pull, a little bit of the isometric. The upper body is opening up. So Frances turns her upper body forward. That knee's going to come in, in a little bit because of the hip. So we can't do both things. So we want to find a nice medium so the knee stacks over, and the shoulders will come onto the long side, face the long side of the mat, and the arms lift. Let's roll the hands down to the floor. Let's step back into the down dog. I'm going to take a break here. Now let's just, for sake of being balanced, let's do the right side. So you can see it from behind. Okay, so inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot through. Watch her pivot on her back heel as she steps through. Left arm lifts, and now we're back into that warrior two. So common areas that you can improve on that, that often get caught up as we're trying to practice really hard is the shoulders will lift. We're trying to hold the arms up as hard as we can so we retract the upper traps here. Let the shoulders drop down. Just keep a nice lightness in the upper body. You may be tempted to roll to the outer edge of the front foot, rolling out to the outside. Continue to press into that big toe knuckle. The last common thing that I see all the time is not enough rotation in the shoulders. 
So you really want to try and twist by activating the core, twist open as much as you can without sacrificing that front knee coming in or coming out. This hip will activate that knee to pull out. It's not just flopping the knee out, we actually pull back on that glute to pull the knee out to a place that's comfortable. Pain is not our friend. So, okay. All righty, let's bring our hands to the floor. And let's step back for down bow. Okay, we'll take three breaths here. And just sort of feel how this feels now. So you might be out of breath by holding it, uh, by holding the posture. This is a great place to try and relax. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know we don't know each other very well, but I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jay, this is easy. This is boring. I don't like it. It's, you know, how do I make this harder? I might be able to help with that. Luckily, they're going to do this for me. <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't want this to be harder. <laughs> you, were, you were thinking wrong. We're not on the same page here, young lady. Good. So let's lift the left leg up. We're going back to the left side. And we're going to step that left foot through. Good. And now we're going to inhale. Right hand lifts all the way up into warrior two. So what can be done to make this slightly more difficult? Maybe not a level 10 sort of crazy thing, but just a little harder. You feel you can hold this for an extended period of time. The first thing I would do is hold it for longer, one or two minutes. What you're going to find is your shoulders might get tired before your legs will. But if you're actively pulling that front heel back and pressing into that back foot to activate the adductors on the inside, you're going to get a bit of a sweat going on. Um, you can also, uh, yeah, pull that heel, pull that foot, and uh, really extend, drop the shoulders down. You can hold it one or two minutes. You can lengthen the stance. Can you bring your feet any longer and still stack that knee? Maybe hold it for less at this posture. But sometimes we've got to challenge ourselves. If it's too easy, you're not sweating, you're not doing anything, it's not really working for you, then this is when we can take that deeper one and maybe hold for less time. We can also hold blocks in our hands. Good. So these blocks, they don't weigh much. But when we're, when we're holding them with the extended arms, it tends to work the shoulders more, keep the shoulders plugged into the joints. Good. And just let the arms and the shoulders work, but very calm. Okay, I'll take those back. Okay. Now the last thing, and I don't know if these guys can do it, but let's try it. Can you lift the front heel up? So pull the back foot in a little bit, the uh, front foot in a little bit, and lift up high on the ball of the foot. Now keep that deep bend in the front leg. Good. So now we're only balancing on two points. So the balance point changes to just two, and we're working on the calf muscle. The calves, nice. <laughs> Michaela's smiling, she's sweating. She's like, please, Jay, let me over. All right, let's bring the hands to the floor. We'll do that on the other side, just so the folks at home can see what's happening. Step back to down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the right foot through. Good. Pivot the foot, lift the arms, drop the shoulders. It's all such an amazing move. Warrior two, the middle child. We can hold the blocks. We can take a longer stance because we might want that thigh to be parallel. It's not totally necessary, but the wider the stance, the lower that front thigh will come. We don't want to sacrifice anything just to get deeper and make it harder. It's got to come naturally, and that takes practice. Good. Now, let's lift that front heel up. Try to keep that depth. As you notice, Frances, she had to pull her foot in. The stance is too long to bring that heel up and keep the, keep the uh, alignment. Hold here. Okay, lift those arms up. Good. Good. We're going to hold for just three, two, and then come back <laughs> and yeah, do the floor. Good. And step back to down dog. Bring your knees to the floor. Turn to face the camera. Share the mat. <laughs> Share the mat. The benefits of Warrior Two are, uh, you know, it stretches the ankles, the legs, the, the front leg has a chance to really activate. And when I say activate in my classes, I want the muscles to flex as much as we can. Not like a bicep would, but we need to really bring the power into the lead leg and then bring the power into the back leg by lifting up the, um, the kneecap. 
it uh, stretches the groin, so the inner thighs, it stretches the legs, and the more flexible you get, the longer that stance will be. You open up the chest, and can really feel that breath in the lungs when we're extended and the arms are straight and we're rotating. And of course the shoulders are working like crazy. So just to summarize, Warrior II is a foundational posture and it's great to practice uh, and to master and, and for all levels of, of yogis and yoga practitioners to, to work on. And we work on it in every class, just about every class. I like the Warrior II and there's many, many things we can do from Warrior II. But if our foundation from Warrior II is not solid, it makes progressing, uh, progressing a posture a little more difficult. So. Find ways to make it work for your body. So the hips coming in, back, pull the feet in. This is what the comment section in, in uh, the YouTube comments will be for. Is you can ask questions about it if you don't have anybody else to ask. If you're just a home practitioner and you just don't know, I'll try to answer them. I mean, that's just what I try and do. So, and it, and finally, it's my belief that anybody can do yoga. It really is true. Yoga can be done, and on its own, can be a tremendous workout. There's practices like uh, Ashtanga and Rocket and different things like that that are very nice sequenced programs that really will have you sweating and working. There's also a half a class that causes you to just work slower, get be a little more mindful, and some days that's what you might need. Uh, but the way that I practice yoga with these guys, is, uh, I find I get a little bit of both. I relax at times and other times I'm doing lots of reps in my class we do reps, sets, of whatever it is, chaturangas. Uh, there's variations in Warrior Two that we can do that make it even more difficult, but uh, that's for another video. But it's important you find the right yoga for you, for your level of health and fitness, for what you're looking for out of, out of your yoga class. As always, yoga is about practice. We never master it. It's a yoga practice for a reason. There's many things we can always work on. So even if you master Warrior Two, that's when you just take it to the next level. Foundation is what's important. So. What do you think, guys? That's great. Good. Great. Yeah, it's really good. yeah. Great. It's great. Great. Anything else to add? Well, I was going to say, it's a pose that I always disliked when I first started yoga because it felt awkward. But with time, it does. You, it feels much more natural, I think. What? What foot awkward about? I think just the, the keeping your shoulder, the keeping your shoulders to the front whilst looking over. Mm. That to me felt very awkward. Yeah, yeah. Without, changing, yes. like without moving the shoulders. Without moving the shoulders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was definitely doing that at first. Yeah. So I think that's something you can really refine. Yeah. Do you find it's easier now, like with stamina oh, and yeah. oh, yes. practice? Um, oh, but yes. even still, like I mean, I've been practicing with you for quite some time, Jay, and like uh, you've noticed I'm still shaking. Yes. Still shaking with, with just Warrior Two. So. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, thank you for fun. joining us for this tutorial and you can uh, join me on YouTube and I'll post classes on YouTube. I'm also uh, get a Patreon account is getting built with some stuff in the library there to join and help support me so I can continue to do this. Uh, so many thanks to Francis, to Michaela, to Tom here at Pinnacle for allowing us to film and until next time, namaste. Mm -hmm.